If you are a search and destroy sniper looking to hit clips like this. You camping? Last one's back right. Oh, yeah. Or maybe you're trying to hit trick shots to impress your friends like this. Oh, For the oh raid! Don't worry, I got you. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings, best class setups, and tips and tricks on how to improve your accuracy as a sniper, how to improve your movement, and how to just overall be a better sniper. I'm gonna start out with some in-game scenarios, and then I'm gonna move on to my class setups and settings later. If you guys did like the video, please drop a like. I did put a lot of time in this video. It'd be much appreciated. And be sure to drop a comment if I missed anything, all right? Twitch.tv slash who's streamline. We live every day hitting the snipes that I hit for my videos. Tune in, bro. Let's get into the video. Deuces. All right, guys, to start off, we're going to be going over four basic parts of in game scenarios. All right, first off, we're going to start off with the warm up with the basics of sniping. We're going to move into advanced sniping tips and then we're going to get into movement. All right, guys, to start off with the warm up, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go into custom game. You're going to want to click on shipment, go into settings, set your time limit to max, set your score limit to max, put it in a free for all, and then you're going to want to add five bots. All right, so now when you boot this bad boy up in a shipment, you're going to be playing against five people that have absolutely no idea what's going on and it's going to be easy target practice for you to warm up your aim for about 10 minutes is what I recommend. Now is this an effective method? Yes. Is this the method that I always use? No. I usually have a playlist on aim labs that I run. I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys want to run that playlist yourself. It is an aim labs course designed for flicking aim training so I can get my aim as crisp as possible before I go hit eclipse. But to all my console and controller snipers out there, don't even worry about aim labs to be honest. This method on shipment is just as effective as if you were to warm up on aim labs in my opinion. Alright guys, so the next step we're going to be focusing on is centering. Centering is pretty much the middle dot in your screen that you use to basically pre-aim everything that you go to snipe, which is very useful when it comes to sniping, because in this game with the very high TTK in Modern Warfare 2, you need to be centering a lot of things. Alright, let's take this peak for example. Everybody knows this peak up Mercado, alright? There's an enemy usually on that head glitch right there. So what you're going to want to do is when you challenge, you're going to want to have your crosshair already placed up there before you even ADS. That is going to help reduce the time that it takes for you to move around your scope and aim in and shoot the enemy. Here's an example of that. Oh my shit, wrong clip, my fault. I swear I only had a wall. Let's break down how centering helped me hit this map record 18 second ace on Crown Raceway with only a sniper. First guy, boom, already centered with the throwing knife because I can't pull up my sniper fast enough. I can make this throw, boom, first guy. Second guy, down the hallway, you can see him in the corner, already centered down the hallway, no problem. I can make that pick. Boom, second guy. Where does the wild opponent appear? Third guy, right there. Boom, make the little bit of dodge. All right, now I center on him. Easy, easy peasy. Fourth guy, why am I looking already here? No, it's not because I have walls, because I saw the red dot already. So I can peek down here because he's fighting my teammate, and I can make that pick. Where's the fifth and sixth? Right here, they just shot at me. Already centered on them already. You guys can see that. I make the adjustments. No scope last. Easy ace. All right, guys, the next part of this video is going to be about how to challenge opponents and my secret trick to winning 80% more sniper gunfights just by doing this one thing. Now, despite being one shot and flash, let's look at what I did to counter these 374U abusing bozos in this 1v3 first guy I know he just shot at my teammate before so I know he's not gonna expect a challenge so I can easily make this challenge here pick off the first guy where's the second guy he just meleeed me behind me I quickly changed direction to change the lunge so I don't get lunged out with the melee don't get shit on like you see in all these warzone clips third guy I don't know where he is I start hopping on the defuse for time I can see the nade pop up right beside me quickly go behind the bomb to avoid it third guy he's gonna challenge I easily pick him off that's a 1v3 for you so to basically sum up sniping against ray gunners you have to learn when to challenge and when not to challenge in this game if you do challenge and you're not supposed to you will pay the price for it you will most likely die in that situation but just learning when to play slow when to play fast that's going to be your biggest friend when playing against ray gunners and learning that skill particularly just comes from game experience game sense you learn this by simply logging hours into the game all right i cannot really teach you this this is kind of a thing that i've learned on my own too but i'm pretty sure if you guys watch the rest of the video you'll be able to get this down a lot faster than i did i've been sniping for over three years by the way Way. All right, now I'm going to share with you guys my number one sniping trick, like I said before, to help me get 80% more sniping kills and gunfights. All right, the trick here is back away, create separation, and at the right moment, learn when to challenge. All right, I'll show you an example of this. Now, the triple here, the quad feed is cool, whatever, but you'll notice the fourth guy, he shoots at me in the backs. So I know he's going to challenge me because I know he almost got that kill, and I'm going to peek out at that time, and I'm going to get an easy fourth for my quad feed. Let's look at another example real quick. Clear it up again. I'm playing overly aggressive as always. Boom, I create the space right there my enemy is going to challenge me because he think he can get an easy pick on me he's going to challenge me and i'm going to easily take this shot here challenge the right time make that pick 
Easy. Where's the fourth ad? Of course I'm gonna challenge him, because I'm streamlined, bro. I just do that. All right, easy quad feed. Congratulations. You just made it through the basic sniping tips, so now we're gonna go through the advanced ones. Now that you got those fully practiced, I know you've just been practicing those for weeks now, so I'm gonna show you guys these super secret advanced sniping tips now. We're gonna start off with the silent shot, all right? The silent shot is basically when you shoot, shoot and you pull out your throwing knife right after and you can cancel it pretty much it's a super cool mechanic it's been around for a while not a whole lot of people do it nowadays it's harder to pull off now to get it actually silent you can actually get it fully silent in kill cams with a bullet there's no sound of the bullet all right but i'm gonna show you guys how to do just the basic one all right so the first step you're gonna ads you're gonna shoot you're gonna pull out your throwing knife you're gonna want your throwing knife as the lethal and then you're gonna click the swap weapons button all right so faster this is what it's gonna look like shoot throwing knife switch weapons my key binds for the silent shot are my mouse button five and four my mouse button five is my swap weapon and then my mouse button four is my lethal it makes it really convenient for me to just only use my mouse when it comes to silent shotting it makes it really nice one more time we're gonna shoot throwing knife swap weapons all right once you get it down a lot faster you can just go bop 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 and bop all right you can get down super fast you can have so much fun with that all right definitely practice that that takes a while to practice but don't use a macro though don't be a little all right guys so the second advanced sniping tip i'm gonna teach y'all is called jump shotting all right here's how it works all right let's say i got a mighty ass fine soldier challenging me right here all right let's say i'm getting into a fight whatever boom can't hit him boom i suck all right i'm gonna go for a jump shot easy shot there Boom, they never expect that, all right? It'll work every time, guys, I promise. If they're hard scoping you or something too, you can always just jump up, hit the shot, boom, reposition, you can go to a different spot and jump up. It works every time. All right, guys, and the third advanced sniping tip I'm gonna give y'all is when y'all are facing a sniper in a little bit of a hard scope war, whenever you challenge him, make sure you jump, all right? And I'll show you exactly why. Let's say you got another mighty ass fine soldier like this, right? Let's say he's got a sniper in his hands. If he's hard scoping right here, right? If you peek this like this, you're gonna get your shit popped because he's gonna get the first shot. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do when you challenge this, you're gonna jump up and shoot. So when you jump up, he has a higher chance of hit marking you compared to you dying all right every time you jump on that you're gonna have a higher chance of living all right i promise you i've done this through years of sniping i promise you that tactic works all right guys now that we have advanced moving tips out of the way i'm glad i could fill y'all in on those the next thing we're moving into it is called the art of moving all right i'm gonna be showing y'all how to become a master sniping rusher i'm gonna show y'all the slide cancel that's still in here i'm gonna show y'all the b hop and i'm gonna show y'all the instant drop shot all right all these will get you more sniping kills in an s d game 100 let's start off all right to start we got the slide cancel so basically you can't slide cancel anymore in mw2 you probably know this but there is a method to do it if you slide and immediately turn the corner it is almost like a slide cancel you guys see how it stops you in your tracks so if you're ever peeking a wall like this too and you want to, it takes a little bit of practice too if y'all are ever peeking a wall too but this method does work if you want to slide cancel i don't use it all the time to be honest with y'all it is only effective turning corners i would not recommend trying to slide around with it on the map because sliding in this game is not very good i do not recommend that as a rusher moving on i'm going to be showing you guys my rushing loadout all right when you guys are rushing in s d you want to make sure you're running a knife you want to make sure you're running obviously your sniper and then you want to run double time double time is the key here because double time gives you 30 percent more tactical sprint or double i can't remember for your field upgrade you want to be running dead silence and then you want to be running the stims for a speed boost so basically when i rush in snd i will sometimes i'll pop a stim sometimes i won't but you're going to rush through here with your knife all right you're going to boom pow to pow check all the corners and everything pull out, pull out your knife again and you can fly through the map pretty quickly if you have a knife compared to if you're running like an overkill every five or like two snipers or something like that you definitely want to run a knife highly recommended in this game too in mw19 sure you can run two snipers but in this game having a knife is way more beneficial in my opinion real quick here i'm going to show you all the b hops you can't do it the same in other cods too they kind of nerfed it in this game but basically when you're b hopping you're just going to jump and the second you hit the ground you're going to jump again all right you can't jump as far like i said in other cods but you can still get a little bit of a hop off and like i noted before it maybe will get you hit marker if you're telling a sniper it definitely might get you a hit marker instead of you dying off the rip. So I definitely recommend the B hop. Yeah, I highly recommend. All right, this one's pretty cool. I can't even lie. This is called the instant drop shot. You may have not seen this before, but basically when you're sniping, you can basically run up and you can instantly drop shot. Instantly. Like it's a lot faster than other cards. All right, y'all see that real quick. If you're in a fight too, you can instantly drop shot. I'm not gonna lie, not a lot of people know about this, but I'm gonna put y'all on because I'm just that guy. 
all right let's say we got bob right here all right let's say i want to challenge bob right here right but he's holding that angle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to challenge out i'm going to instant drop shot, and i'm going to bop him all right we'll go over that one more time i'm going to pop out instant drop shot easy shot all right that drop shot will actually break aim assist on controllers even though it's so overpowered in this game it will still throw aim assist off its tracks which is why that move is so overpowered now you're probably wondering how to do that i'm going to show you guys how to do that right now so if you it's a lot harder on controller i can't tell you guys on controller how to do it but you can kind of get down the same mechanics all right so basically on k bam you're going to be running forward right and basically you're going to push the back arrow and the prone key at the same time so basically, you guys know how if you run and press the prone key, you'll do a dolphin dive. But if you click the back key at the same time, you'll actually instantly drop shot. All right. And I promise you guys, this shit works a lot. You'll definitely get a lot more kills out of this. I put y'all on. All right. All right, guys, this part in the tutorial is going to be how to trick shot. All right. So you guys may have seen in my videos sometimes, you'll see trick shots like this. That's just what I'd be doing. I've been practicing those since my MW19 days, and I'm going to show you guys how I pull those off with perfect timing sometimes. All right. So basically, when it comes to trick shotting, what you're going to want to practice first off, because what it mainly is, is timing. So you're going to want to practice your 360s. All right. Pick an object on the floor, and you're just going to slowly practice your 360s. All right. Slowly, just get the timing down and everything. Work on your timing. Get it down a little faster every time. All right, boom, 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 boom. You just get good at it after a while, I'm not gonna lie. Now that you got that down, I know you've been practicing that for weeks now, let's go to some combos. One thing I like to do is I like to pull up my lethal as I do my 360 to get the little animation like that, and then I'll shoot, and then I'll pull up the lethal again. I'll show you what that looks like. Boom. All right, just a little 360 like that. I'll do 720s here too. Alright, I can do it all. I mainly go for 360s, so just probably go for more 720s in the game, but I can do a little inspect, a little melee, boom, 720. Like I said, that is all timing, guys. Alright, get that timing down, and you'll be vibing. Let's take a look at my class setups now. I know a lot of people have been asking me for my updated class setups. I got gotcha. y'all. Alright, let's start off with the SPX. SPX is probably one of my favorite snipers, one of the fastest snipers in the game. Alright, it's not the best at range. But I definitely like using it for aggressive sniping. I definitely like using it for that. Let's go into the tuning real quick. After we look at the attachments, 22.5 Elevate 11 Barrel. The Schlager. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. The Lockman Impact 9. All right, this secret scope. I promise you, I run this on all my snipers. This scope is insane. If I'm not mistaken, you get that through leveling the Lockman 762, and then you level up the LMS. All right, you level up both those, not very high levels, you get the scope. I promise you it gives me so much better accuracy in all my clips. You run the PVZ 890 tack stock, you run the Schlager match grip. All right, I'm going to show you all the tuning for this. Boom, the barrel tuning. Boom, the scope tuning. Boom, the stock tuning. And boom, the grip tape tuning. Now, I'm not going to show you guys my entire loadout for all my snipers because it's all the same for all the snipers, but I run the knife, I run stims, I run throwing knife. For my perk package, I run double time, extra tactical, fast hands, and quick fix. For the next sniper here, we have the Signal 50. All right, this is not the best sniper in the game. It's a little bit all right, but in its right times, it's actually kind of fire. It's good. It's got good ADS. It's got good damage. I mean, what's not to like about it, you know? For the attachments, I run the 21.5 flute barrel. I run the FSS shark fin i run the coriolas 44 laser i run the so inline stock and i run the sa finesse grip the tuning for that goes like this the barrel boom the shark fin boom the stock boom and the grip tape boom all right this gun highly recommend y'all try it out get it leveled up it's a fun gun for sure next up we have the mcpr build this is probably one of my favorite snipers even over the victus i'm taking this it's just a really fun sniper it's faster than the victus aiming stability isn't the best it moves around a little bit more but it's still a fire ass sniper i'm not gonna lie to y'all fss ov laser lockman impact nine scope fss merc stock cronin cheetah grip and then cronin smooth bolt all right here's the tunings for those boom boom and boom all right here's the scope tuning boom here's the merc stock tuning boom and then here's the grip tape tuning highly recommend y'all be using the sniper if you don't already use it all right 10 out of 10. next up we have my victus class one of the most reliable snipers in the game all right you can beam kids from far away you can beam kids from close this sniper is insane here's the class setup mac 8 barrel VLK 7 milliwatt laser, Lockman Impact 9 scope, XRK Rise 50, 
stock and then the rear grip is the Bruin Q900. All right, here's the tunings for those. The barrel, the scope, the XRK Rise 50 stock, and then the grip tape. Here y'all go, I got y'all. Definitely recommend y'all try this sniper if you have it. It's kind of a pain to level up, but once you get the tuning on it and all the attachments, it's actually beautiful, I promise you. Next, we have a little bit of a sleeper, not gonna lie, the carbine, the MK2 carbine. This gun is really fun. This gun is really fun to use if you get the right situations for it. Really fast rechamber. One shot is actually decent on it. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all just got to hit your shots and it's a great gun. It's great in respawn too. I got the VLK laser, Luca Bandera scope, Lockwood bullseye stock, Longhorn lever, and then Lockwood commando guard. All right, I'm going to show y'all the tuning for those real quick. The scope, boom. The stock. And then the guard. Gotcha. All right, this gun is like a, a it's like a seven out of ten. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's still fun though. I highly recommend you try it. The SAB is my next sniper I use. The most hated of them all. All right, the marksman. Nobody really likes dying to this. Nobody really likes dying to this. I'll say it again. All right, I got the FSS OV laser. I got the SPX 80 scope. I got the XRK Spectre mod stock. I got the Schlager match grip, and then I got the FSS SC87 bolt. All right, here's the tuning for those. Boom. And boom all right only two tunings this gun is like in respawn this gun's a 10 out of 10 there's no beating this gun you run iron sights with it it's even better all right it's game over in s d it's all right the one shot's pretty bad from range but it's still a really fun gun if you like fast sniping all right last but not least this is my final class for y'all this is the lab all right to be honest this gun's kind of all right i think it's better than the signal but i don't think it's better than the spx it kind of falls in a weird category where it's not really the best in anything but it's still fun to use once in a while all right so i'm gonna give you all the class where 16 inch barrel fss ob laser lockman impact 9 scope zlr t70 pad extension stock and then the aim assist comb all right here's the tuning for those the barrel the scope the stock and the comb all right these are all my class setup guys i'm gonna show you all my settings now all right here we go all right not gonna lie to y'all i pulled an all-nighter editing this video so i'm not gonna talk about the settings right now because it's like 10 a.m and i haven't slept yet but i'm just gonna scroll through them bro just so y'all know i run 5.25 sensitivity and 1600 dpi all right let's get into it If you guys made it through the whole video, thank you guys so much, bro. This took a lot of work to make this video. Please drop a like and sub if you guys didn't make it through to this point. It is very much appreciated, all right? Y'all have a motherfucking blessed night, man. I love y'all very much. Y'all have a good one, bro. Deuces.